Hello. <laughs> we got bad weather today, so Daddy's doing some inside work, so he's going to start exposing some of the corridors upstairs. So since our last video with the space planning idea, we've changed it again. Of course we have. <laughs> <laughs> So it's going to match, corridors are going to match upstairs and downstairs. Yeah, and this is going to give us a bigger bathroom and we can have a bath and a separate shower and we had a good old think. So uh, I'm going to pass you over to Lee so you can see what he's doing. Lee! Am I throwing you? Try it. Jeez. Hello. <laughs> that, that might look really cool, who knows. Um, yeah, so as I think Em just said, I have heard weather's pretty garbage today. Um, we've had some hail, um, yeah, a bit of wind, but actually it's still pretty warm. It's like, what is it, about 14 degrees? Em? Yeah, she, she said it, she shouted. Um, so what I've actually done up here is, I'll just turn you around. We've got this door here, which we've removed and put there, just as a... Um, temporary door and we had this door here which probably can't see it but it's the one down in the corner um, again there's another temporary door so that was really cool um, we've changed our plans since well, two days ago when we made a video I think it was um, and we've decided to move the corridor upstairs so originally the corridor was going to be along here with a wall you can actually see I spray painted it on the floor going roughly to here so this is Hudson's bedroom this would have been a corridor this would have been uh, where our stairs come up over this side and this area here uh, would have gone into our bedroom there's going to be a door here eventually and a small kind of uh, I don't know I suppose it could be a little cupboard it could be um, it's pretty big it's about one two three four probably about six square meters so it could be a dressing room a little cupboard for linen that kind of thing um, but now what we've decided to do is keep the stairs in the same place so I'll be coming up here from downstairs and I'm actually making a hole through the wall um, it's quite knackering I'm not gonna lie but we're going through here and pretty much from this beam all the way across to it'll actually be the other side of this beam so we've got enough space for a door there because this is the chimney from downstairs uh, and this will then go into Hudson's room which is currently where that entrance is. And this new line on the floor will be a wall for our bathroom. So the bathroom will be here and none of these three doors will be, will be here anymore. Uh, we'll probably make a small window up here just to allow some more light in. And we'll put the door along this wall in line with this window. So we'll actually be getting light through there as well. So we should have enough light in the bathroom, I hope. Um, yeah, we can always fix that with, with special lighting and, and things like that. Um, but we'll obviously have a flue going out for evaporation. Um, yeah, it should be really good. Um, I'm sweating. Not really sure what else to say, so I'll stop it here.
to uh, about 10 minutes have passed, I suppose. Um, let just see what I'm doing. Yeah, there we go. Um, so one thing that you need to consider uh, with the old houses like this, the bricks do absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, apart from on the front of the house where we have uh, two layers of bricks. So it will be more this kind of thickness. Uh, the walls internally are just this thickness here. Um, the, the, the wooden frame is actually what's holding the house together. So uh, basically the easiest way for people just to fill that gap in was either with mud bricks, um, old tiles I've seen people use. We've got these handmade bricks which are absolutely awesome. Um, each one is totally different but I'm hoping that we can reuse them somewhere else. Maybe for a, maybe for a floor, maybe in the lobby, something like that. So I'm saving all of the, the whole pieces there. We lost some half bricks here, but most of it is rubble, if I'm honest. Um, just trying to think of a tip that I could add for this one. Ah, actually, this little tool here is... Uh, it's it's uh, for removing moss and grass and things like that in between pavers. Um, I think it was about 50p. Really, really good for removing cob in between bricks. So get yourself one of those. Um, don't do what I do, wear glasses, definitely wear a dust mask, and uh, wear gloves. Okay guys, so I'm on round two, as I'm calling it, so it's the, the opposite side to here. I'm going to leave this just as it is for now, until we can clear the rubble, stacking up a few, uh, few bricks, um, just to try and make it easier for us. Um, and what I've noticed is because on this side, this is actually the chimney stack, we don't have, well we do have enough space, uh, but this will actually be a very thin door. Um, or at least door opening. Um, so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to come over this way, approximately, you know, 30 centimeters, 12 inches, uh, top to bottom. I'm gonna have to remove the bricks. I'm gonna have to support it. And then I'm gonna have to remove this beam um, just to give us enough space. So it's a little bit more work than I was expecting. Um, I was hoping that it would be kind of in line with this side, but it's not. Um, I think because of that chimney stack. So, yeah, fun and games. Um.